States travels in has landed at uh, the airport and as I said uh, earlier it's going to be a very brief visit by President Obama but its uh, symbolism can't be overestimated really because he is the first sitting American president to visit Burma. Its reform process, the country's uh, process has been continuing a pace very quickly indeed, one which has taken many people by surprise. One, just one of the issues that President Obama will address when he speaks with President Tain Sein is uh, the number of political prisoners in Burma. It's estimated that despite the release of many of them, there are still roughly about 300 of those. He'll also meet the opposition leader, Aung San Suu Kyi. Uh, it's probably as much about business as it is about uh, America repositioning its foreign policy uh, towards Asia because uh, Burma for many years, many decades indeed, has been particularly close to China and uh, America probably trying to counter the growing influence of China in Asia because after this six-hour visit to Burma, uh, Mr. Obama will be traveling to Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia where the ASEAN summit, the summit of uh, Association of Southeast Asian Nations, is uh, taking place. So soon he'll be coming out of there. There's heavy security, of course, there is in uh, Rangoon. We'll have uh, more on this as uh, his trip to Burma continues. Of, uh, the importance of his visit to the country of Burma, a senior U.S. official said that uh, President Obama will be announcing the resumption of U.S. aid programs to the country and those aid programs will be worth $170 million over two years, but that that will be dependent on the reform process continuing and uh, including the freeing of remaining political prisoners. Uh, about 300, it's believed, political prisoners still held in Burma. So that will be one of the main issues that he'll be discussing with President Tain Sein. Also, uh, the situation affecting the Rohingya Muslim minority in the state of Rakhine. Uh, violence against those Muslims by Buddhists who live in Rakhine has uh, become a uh, very important issue for the displaced Muslim minority. Hillary Clinton and President Obama being greeted at the airport. Uh, he'll also be meeting, the President will be meeting uh, Aung San Suu Kyi, who uh, well, Hillary Clinton a few months ago had already met uh, Aung San Suu Kyi. And then after this very quick visit, the six hour trip will come to an end. Air Force One will then fly to Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia because this is all part of the Americans uh, repositioning their foreign policy towards Asia. Um, it became pretty much official, well, almost 12 months ago, I suppose. Uh, Leon Panetta also making uh, recent trips to Asia as well. The Americans are trying to, well, critics or analysts at least say that it is trying to, the Americans, the United States, trying to counter the growing influence of China in the region, but the American administration itself says it, that it actually wants to work with China in Asia. So this is the beginning of the trip of President Obama and Hillary Clinton to Burma. Let's return now to the situation in the Middle East because a little earlier I spoke.